Hello everyone and welcome back for another session of Trend Micro How To. In this video, I will show you on how easy it is to migrate your existing security solution to Trend Micro Apex One. For this demo, we will migrate McAfee Endpoint Security to Apex One as a service. I highly recommend creating a migration plan regardless of how many endpoints you want to migrate. Make sure to take note and document all existing policies that you have configured from your McAfee EPO and have a mapping for each to Apex One settings. These settings may include exception policies, scan actions, notifications, and the like. Now, I will show you a phase migration of McAfee EPO to Trend Micro Apex One as a service. In a nutshell, we will install an Apex One agent that can coexist with your McAfee endpoint security solution. We call this the Apex One Coexist Agent, and this provides your endpoints the protection that it needs as we move along on the different phases of this migration. Then, on the final phase, you will see as we promote the Coexist Agent to a full Apex One as a service agent. Let's begin by installing the Apex One Coexist Agent. Open your Apex One Management Console, then navigate to Administration, Security Agent Download. Pick the operating system of choice and select the Coexist Agent. Download the installer and install it on your endpoints. You can use SCCM or any third-party software deployment solution that you have for this purpose. We will just run it locally on our endpoint here. Please bear in mind that the installation may take several minutes and you will be required to restart the endpoint after the installation is complete. At this point, you will notice that a Trend Micro icon is already appearing on the system tray. This tells us that the installation was successful. We now proceed to the next step which is uninstalling the McAfee endpoint security. But before doing that, we need to make sure that we disable any uninstalled password in the policy. To do that, open your McAfee EPO console and navigate to Policy Catalog. Under the list of policies, select Endpoint Security Common and edit the policy bound to the endpoint or group of endpoints you are trying to uninstall. Make sure that the required password to uninstall the client checkbox is unchecked. For the purpose of this demo, I'll show you two ways on how to uninstall McAfee software using the EPO Management Console. First, you can navigate to the Product Deployment top menu item and scroll down to the bottom to open the Advanced Product Deployment Settings. From here, click New Deployment. Give the deployment task a name. And then, select the McAfee package you want to uninstall. Under the Action section, make sure to select the Uninstall Radio button. Click the Add Another Package link to specify additional McAfee endpoint software you want to remove. Click the Select Individual System button to pick individual endpoints or groups of endpoints from this task. You can then select whether you want the uninstall task to happen immediately or on a schedule. Use this first method if you want to keep the McAfee agent software available in the endpoint. This is applicable if you want to keep other McAfee software products and only want to replace the endpoint security. The second way to uninstall McAfee software in your endpoint is by going into the system tree. Select the endpoints that you want to uninstall, then click the Action drop-down box and select Directory Management. Click Delete. You can see that using this option allows you to uninstall all McAfee agents installed software as well as the McAfee agent itself. Click OK to proceed. After we deleted the systems from the EPO console, we just wait until the next time the McAfee agent pulls the task from the EPO server and we should be able to proceed to the next step. As you can see here, the agent uninstall task has been completed. However, the McAfee agent processes are still running. You can then reboot the machine and verify that all McAfee software has been removed and we can proceed to the final step of the migration. We will now then open the Apex One Management Console 
and create the policy that is going to be used by our coexist agent. We can specify the target of the policy and select the agent. We can then specify the security settings we want to set for the agent as documented in our migration plan. For example, we can set the exclusions, scan schedules, and which particular Apex One feature we want to enable. Since we want to promote the coexist agent to a full agent, we can navigate to the Privileges and Other Settings menu item and check the Permanently Convert Security Agents. Then, we click Deploy and wait for a coexist agent to be promoted to a full Apex One security agent. After several minutes, we can see that the Windows Security Center will pop up and verify that the Apex One full agent icon appears in the endpoint system tray. And this concludes our video. As you can see, it is very easy and straightforward to migrate McAfee endpoint security to Apex One SaaS by utilizing face migration. I hope this video has been informative to you and see you again soon. Goodbye.